Hey, what's up, gang? It's Adam Smith, and this is round two of Collector Booster Infinity. Uh, I got pretty lucky on that last uh, box and got a Galaxy Foil Howled Fountain. Uh, oh, all good, good for me. For you. Also got a regular foil howled fountain and oh, good for you. Uh, what was the other one? I got one more shock that was in there as well. Oh, good for you. So I pressed my luck a little bit. I sold, or actually, I have up for sale the galaxy foil one that sells whatever. Uh, and I sold some uh, regular shocks because I have four of a play set of. The shock. So I got rid of one of the copies that I had uh, from each shock that I had. And now I bought another box. So it was either that or buying all the shocks that I didn't have was a total of like 400 and something. This was only 207 on Amazon. Had some hiccups trying to get it here. Uh, they, they sent it and then it got canceled. And then so I bought another one and then they refunded me and uh, just whatever. So I'm going for round two uh, on Infinity this time. I did not do this live. Lowry is actually recording right now. Uh, Spotlight switcheroo. So after this video, if you're watching this, you can check out the switcheroo video that Lowry is doing. So I just wanted to get this open. I uh, don't have it live. It's weird because I always have it live. Uh, so let's just get started here. So we have our box topper. We kind of know how this just goes. Basically, there are some galaxy foil. I'm going to try to figure out which ones are galaxy as I'm going. Some of them are tougher to see. So there's a lot of them that I did the video last time and I didn't realize certain cards were galaxy foils. That ended up being like $10, $12 cards because of the rarity of getting those. Um, so I'm gonna try to figure out those. The lands are easy to figure that out, but it's the other cards. So I'll kind of keep an eye on those as well. Uh, but for the most part, it's lands, shocks are the best stuff in this. Everything else is kind of garbage. So, all right, let's start off with our box topper. Let's see what we got for the shock land. Hopefully it's one I don't have. Because that'd be nice. Because I need, I have six or four of them. I need six of them. All right, ready? One, two, three, flip. All right. Blood Crypt is one I do not have. So I got one. Oh, good buddy. That I didn't have. Oh, and the other thing is on the last uh, video, I didn't catch there was one that had a, uh, oh, no, it wasn't in the video. That was when I opened uh, in Florida. But there was one. I do have an off cut or a misprint on one of mine. So, all right, here we go. Let's see if we can crack two uh, shock lands in this box like we did last time. So there is a 4% chance in each uh, land slot to get a either galaxy foil shock land or a regular foil. So there is a galaxy foil spot for the lands and that's where you can get the shocks. Okay, so here we go. We got the regular foil, regular foil. I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on these a little bit more this time. I can tell which ones uh, for the most part. Oh, okay, so I see, no, that might be part of the, the card. And you can kind of tell by the number here. Let me show you one quick. If, oh, let's see, show ya. So let's see if I can get it on camera. Come on camera, okay. Okay, so see the number right there? If it just has one number, that is a galaxy foil. See how these have the two numbers? It's 183 out of 244. That is a regular foil. So that is our biggest indicator of figuring out if it's a galaxy or not. So I can kind of look on the corners there. Yep, none of these are galaxy. So let's keep moving. Uh, this is an uncommon there. Uh, that's a regular foil, but this, oh, it's a... Any of the acorn ones, I'm kind of like, that's garbage. All right, so here's our first galaxy, and I know that's not one of the big guys, uh, but that is a galaxy foil. Same with this one. It was not one of the big guys either. Same with this one. That's a galaxy foil. And this is our un unsanctioned is this one right here. Enter the dungeon. Uh, and then we got another galaxy foil here, which I... I don't think I have him in Galaxy, but I have a bunch of copies in regular foil. And there goes our first land. So it's not a shock, but it's a, a swamp. And then, oh, that is a Galaxy Swamp. The more expensive, and then we got a zombie employee and food. I like the, even though I hate food token or food in general with the token stuff, but this is a funny one. I like that. Um, but for the, the lands, 
the planet lands are worth about 10 to 12 bucks. So 12 to 14, actually. So 10, 10 to about 14 bucks for those. So uh, we'll keep an eye on those. So the I got the cheaper of the ones. So that's not the planetary one. That is just the regular swamp. Kind of funny. I got a swamp and a swamp on that. Uh, I already, I bought a bunch of those. I bought my play sets of them. The ones I didn't get a play set of is the 10 that I actually really want. I'm going to kind of get this mic out of my face there. All right, here we go. Uh, these will be regular foils. And I'll mention when I remember. Oh, so pair O dice or pair O dice lost. If this was galaxy, it was a little bit more expensive. Uh, and that is not, not, sorry. I'm kind of going, I'm just checking the bottom. Okay. So now we got our galaxy foils. I'm going to kind of keep my stuff separated. So galaxy clowning around isn't worth anything. There is that. Uh, I don't think she is either. And we got, this is unstable. It'd have been sweet if they had the unstable lands as kind of a little spot in there, but that's, that's another thing. All right. So then we got another galaxy and our planes. So we did not get a shock here. Maybe a shock here. Nope. Okay. So two in a row where it's in, in what I found out. Oh, so we have cat and treasure. Cool. Use the treasure quite a bit. Uh, I'll probably use this as my, uh, I like to use foil tokens with my deck. That's one of my pimping basics. Basic lands and the, uh, well, and the commander and tokens, but really the tokens are just, it's not that big of a deal. I'm not too, I won't spend a bunch of money on tokens. I won't spend any money on those. They just come with whatever I get. And I try to use foil when I can, um, totally forgot what I was going to say, but yeah, let's keep moving. All right. So foil, 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 let's get into our. Foils really don't matter. So I, I shouldn't even be worrying about those. Um, it's not until you get to the galaxy ones where they matter. Okay. So galaxy. Cause like even that, this one right here, this one isn't worth anything, but in galaxy, it is worth something. All right. So galaxy, that isn't, that isn't, that is an unstable card right there. And another galaxy. All right. Let's see. This will be the first potential shock land spot. Oh, and it's a planet. And then next shock land spot. And it's a hit. So I got the cheapest ones here. We need this one to be that one. If it was this one, then that'd be worth some money. Clown robot, never going to use that food. I probably never use that just as much as I don't use clown robot. <laughs> I hate food tokens. I wish they made them better. And then I'm going to have a balloon token on one side. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Let's get to our galaxies. I guess what I would like in here, I didn't get any of the planeswalker. Oh no, I got the dog planeswalker. Be nice to get the Jace one because that one is legal in our format. And that's the only one I didn't get. All right, so galaxy found car. Good. Hey, that's a good one right there. That's actually worth a little bit. Uh, boom, and then we got our unstable. And a galaxy, and we got not a shock land there. Oh, all right. So we got a, a galaxy foil planet. So this one's uh, is 11 bucks, I believe. And teddy bear or balloon will not be used for my tokens. I put that in the wrong spot. Let's put the token there. Uh, so we have this here and that there. Okay. <sighs> Let's get, we're almost halfway through the box. We need to get at least, at least one shock in here. The odds are I should get at least the, the box topper and one shock in those, one of those spots. If I don't, it's kind of a failure to be honest with you. Uh, none of these and now we're in the galaxy. So the big top galaxy foil, galaxy foil. Uh, that is another unstable card. Okay, so then this next spot should be, if there's a shock, it's here. Damn it. Damn it. Or here. Damn it. Come on, meow. Clown robot or a treasure. Oh, that's kind of an interesting treasure. Employee of the month. I don't think I've seen that one. All right, so this is the halfway point. We got to get one in here. Come on, there has to be one. <laughs> it's 
got to be one or I don't post this video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, my light keeps flickering there. All right. Now it's actually bright enough that I can see a little bit better. All right. So let's get to our, there we go. Now we're into our galaxy foils. No, no. All right. So then we hit here and it switches. And now here goes our potential for a shock. Let's go. Shock one. Oh, I think I saw the next one isn't even a shock either, unfortunately. And this is a land one, not a planet one. And the same one. Want, want, squirrel or storm crow? I would use the squirrels. All right. So first half of the box, not so good. Not even for this. Like if there was more. Oh, what I was saying. That's what I was saying before. The planets, when I opened it last time, I think it was four of the planet galaxies. Compared to, uh, what was it, eight? No, that doesn't make sense because there's 12. It was like seven of these, I think. Seven to four. It was quite a bit different, uh, the ratio of how many galaxy foil lands you get. Oh, no, it was the planet one, sorry. This was four compared to the 12 that you got total, not for galaxy, just the planets in general. Okay, so we're still not a galaxy. Now we are a galaxy. Well done. Photo op. Nope. All right. Unstable card. Uh, was this one of them that was expensive? Enters the battlefield. Choose. Oh, no, no. It just was an interesting one. All right, here we go. Come on, shock. Come on. <sighs> shock. Damn it. Damn it. Let's go. This is ridiculous. No shocks. This is a disappointing box. Can't be just blood crypt. That isn't worth it if it's just blood crypt. The box is definitely not worth it if it's... And that's kind of the hit and miss maybe with this... I mean, for this box or this set in general is you're really shooting for those lands, like all this other stuff. And the other thing is I haven't opened a Planeswalker. You know, I haven't... The last box, I got two of the dog ones and none of Jace, and I haven't seen any of that yet. Okay. These are our uh, galaxies. This is our uns uh, unsanctioned. All right, here goes. Come on, shock. Shock. Hey, but it's that one. That one's really pretty. That one's really pretty. Planetary one. It's kind of funny how my camera makes it blue. Little blue spots. And a cat with food. So I will use the cat more often. All right, so we have four packs. I'm just now, I'm just wanting one. <laughs> like, I might have been spoiled with my last box by getting three shocks in the whole box, which one is guaranteed you're going to get. All right, and now we're in our galaxy foils. Nothing, nothing. On. All right, here we go. Ready? Hey, there we go. And it's a galaxy foil. We'll be happy with that. Yes, we will. And it's overgrown tomb. Another one I do not have. Oh, good Got for it. you. All right, so we have two. Now we just need to finish with another one. And I'll be happy. Really? Well, I mean, I'm happy you got the overgrown tomb because... What that kind of entails is that, let's see, Overgrown Tomb should check really quick. What do we got going on for TCG? TCG player. Come on. Overgrown Tomb. We want Galaxy Foil. Three packs left. Going for 100 bucks. That card in itself pays for half of the box. And the Blood Crypt is uh, the cheapest those are, around 40 bucks, I think. So uh, I have enough. Now well, these are 10, 20, and the rest of these might equal up to about 20. So this is getting close. We're almost even of what the box is. I think the biggest thing is I have two cards in here that I did not have for my shock. So now I have... Six of the ten. Oh, oh 
good, good for, for you. you. So I just need four more. And if I can get another one in here, then I might actually... Clown car is one of the ones that we really liked out of this set. Oh, there we go. Pair of lost dice or dice lost. This one is worth a little bit. Uh, should I check for sure here? Pair. Oh, lost dice galaxy foils are sitting at. They're skyrocketing to $17 at this point. So that is a $17 galaxy Oil. And the reason is because it's rolling dice. It's a pretty fair one. Roll two, two six-sided dice. Return any number of cards with total amount of value, X or less, from your graveyard to your hand, where X is the total of those results. Exile pair lost dice. So uh, let's see, total amount of value. So I believe you could bring lands and stuff back from... Yes, you can. You can bring back all the lands because the amount of value is zero for that. So... Total amount of value is six to less from your graveyard. Any number. So you can return every single land. That's why that card is really good. All right. So that's a good card. That's a good one to be in this. All right. Three-headed goblin are unstable. I'd be happy if we got one of the planeswalkers in here at some point. All right. So shockland? No shockland. Another galaxy shockland? No galaxy shockland. And two of the, the land ones. A uh, balloon or teddy bear? Teddy bear looks like it's pink so i can't even use it for and balloons a one one flyer like that's you can't even use that for something <laughs> like it's just what do you use it for no two packs left guys two packs left Ooh, that was a tough one maybe because the pack was tough to open there's actually something good in this so right now we're over value of what uh paid for the box because of those dice being 17 dollars uh, all right, so now we're in our galaxy foils. Galaxy, galaxy, galaxy. Unsanctioned. Oh, Space Jace in a galaxy foil. I don't think Space Jace is worth anything. Uh, but maybe he is in a galaxy foil. Space, borderless galaxy. I wanted him because he was one I didn't have. Uh, his foil prices have dropped. Yeah, so he's only six bucks. But still, I wanted this guy. I didn't have him. All right. This could be our shock right there. Oh, shock right there. Oh. All right. We're down to one pack left. Storm Crow. Let's get three. Let's get three shocks. Come on, guys. Let's get it. That's what I want. I want three. Uh, all right. Boom. Okay, so this was the other one. If it was the Galaxy Foil, I think this is a $10 card. It's a good card. Uh, so I got that last time. Oh, good for me. And we're still in regular foil. Okay, Galaxy there. So Galaxy Foil, Galaxy Foil, Galaxy. All right, all right. So here it goes. Here's our last ones. Come on. Come on, Shock. Damn it. Now, it'd be nice if I, this one was a... Oh. All right, so it was a planetary one. Okay, so we ended up with two shocks this time. I'm glad that one of them was a galaxy foil because that is pretty sexy looking, but I would have been a lot happier if I would have got three in there. But beggars can't be choosers because it could have been just the one and I would have been screwed, you know? So, all right, that should do it. Uh, don't know if I'll continue to do another box. I guess it depends on if I sell, if I decide to sell Overgrown Tomb and go for it again. Um, we ended up with, so let's see, three, four, five. So I think that was the difference of last time is I had four planetary uh, basic lands. Three of them are the galaxy foil so now i kind of see why these are a little bit more expensive because then you got one two three four five six seven eight of the lower land like on the planet ones so that's why these are so much more and they look really pretty uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of those compared to two here so this is why the prices vary so much on these two so 
Uh, happy that I got Jace. Happy I got Pero Dice Lost. Uh, two versions of that. Got to keep that one in the binder. Jace is going in the binder. And I just got to figure out what I'm going to do with uh, Overgrown uh, Tomb there. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, you guys have a good, good one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. We'll see you guys. See ya.